Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DNA Crows. I'm your host, Andrew the Comic Crow, and today we're going to be reviewing Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And uh, unlike my other reviews that I've done with my brother, uh, we're going to keep this one a little bit short. No spoilers since the movie's still really fresh. And uh, I just got back home. It's uh, midnight right now, uh, and this movie had me hyped to all hell. I absolutely loved it. I will admit I was really apprehensive after seeing the last Godzilla movie. Um, I did not know if they were going to be able to really do much here. Um, but I think everything was a massive improvement. Um, I The, the storyline, uh, for one, I think really did work. Um, the, the bad guys are like eco-terrorists and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that, that's fine. Um, there, there's a little bit of a twist with the uh, main character's uh, family um that i i i guess i should have probably foreseen um i i didn't so that kind of made it a little bit more fun uh and the okay well the the the, the humans don't really matter they just kind of screw everything up and make it worse for godzilla to do what he needs to do um the monster fights are just absolutely phenomenal uh i yeah i don't think it's anything to any any spoilery to say that uh, Godzilla fights uh, Ghidorah. Um, and, I, I, you know, they didn't uh, stray away from a lot of the uh, origins of Ghidorah. He, he's, he is an alien in this. Um, I thought that they would have just uh, not mentioned that or, you know, just changed it up so he's just a monster like everything else. But, uh, no, they stuck with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, no, the, the movie was great. I, I <laughs> I'm probably gonna say that a lot, but the uh, monster fights were just, you know, they they were really top tier. Um, I have to say, I don't think it's a movie that would be for everyone. You kind of have to be into the genre. Uh, I went to go see it with my girlfriend. She did not stay awake for it, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> She's working at me right now. Um, but no, it, if, if this is the sort of movies that you're into, like that, that big, uh, wide scale destruction or just, you know, monsters just beating the crap out of each other, it's perfect. Um, you know, when they used to call it Godzilla King of the Monsters, I mean, they really do mean King of the Monsters. Uh, there are far more appearances than just Ghidorah. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen the, uh, images, uh, from the trailers, uh, Rodan's in it, you know, you have Mothra, of course. Uh, there are uh, more monsters that make appearances, uh, and I just, I, I, I don't know what they could have really done better here uh, with what they were trying to do. It, it was a massive improvement from the last Godzilla movie. Um, I will say that the, uh, uh, the lead uh, male actor, um, I think he goes by Mark in the movie. I'm terrible with names, sorry. I... I I'm not trying to be mean like he's probably the only part of the movie where i'm just like i think he overacts it a little bit um but i'm no professional i'm no professional critique so what do i know uh otherwise i yeah no it was great you know when you see uh Ghidorah for the first time that that dude is frightening you actually figure out why people would be terrified of these monsters pretty quick um the <laughs> like the 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 lightning breath is just so cool um there there's a there's a the whole thing with uh uh i i don't want to spoil it i really don't want to spoil it i really think you need to go see it but when you see godzilla and Ghidorah fight it is just some of the most intense action that you're gonna see they fight like i think three times during the movie um and uh <laughs> yeah Ghidorah gener uh, regenerates so that that's really crazy um, but no, I, I think that, uh, I, again, you know, I'm just babbling on here. Uh, as far as the story goes, it was a massive improvement from the last one, just to recap that. Um, the characters, I found most of them pretty interesting. Um, it, there, there were some funny moments that I, I just, I, there were people in the theater who started busting up laughing. Um, and uh, yeah, when Godzilla first shows up and uh, till the end of the movie, like that final, sh the, the final scene of the movie uh, where every everybody's just clapping and I'm just like, oh, yeah, it was just such an experience. Um, you know, the, the, the kaiju movies are just, uh, you know, if you saw uh, Kong Skull Island, I, I like that one, but, you know, it definitely has a lot of flaws to it. This was just top tier. I loved it. I think you should go see it. 
Um, <laughs> uh, as far as uh, the CGI, I thought the CGI was pretty strong. Um, there, there were a couple of times when Ghidorah is on the screen where I was like, okay, that does look a little bit fake, but it was, you know, a couple seconds here and there and everything else just flowed so well together when they're just wrecking apart the cities. Um, when Rodan emerges from the volcano, uh, it, it, it all looks great. There's some really tense moments in it too. Um, there's a scene where they're trying to fly away and get away from uh, uh, one of the kaijus and fly it into another one. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's so good. Um, I, think, I, I think if you're into this, there's no way you can't see it. If you're a Godzilla fan and you were a little bit burned out from the last movie and you know, for fuck's sakes, the, uh, the 2000 Godzilla movie, uh, you know, don't, don't let this worry you. This, this movie is 100% worth going to see. Um, I, I, if I keep talking about it, I'm going to wind up spoiling a lot. Uh, so I'm going to end the video here, but, uh, you know, it's a short review. Um, I would definitely give this one, um, I'm going to give it a four out of five, uh, four cause out of five. It, it, it has like a couple of flaws, but nothing that I would say would ruin the overall experience. Um, yeah, no, th this is, this is a fun movie. It's a lot of fun. I'm still hyped up after to go and see it. And uh, the music that they do during the uh, uh, kaiju battles are it, it 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 is so fitting. I love it. I'm listening. I'm gonna listen to it right now while I play some uh, Dauntless. Uh, please go and see this movie. Uh, hopefully, my review has uh, stirred anybody that's still on the fence. And uh, otherwise, please uh, like uh, like leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the movie if you've already had a chance to see it, or if you see this review, you go see the movie. Come back. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if there's any things that you didn't like about it. Uh, I'd be interested in getting your opinion on it. And please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of DNA Crows. And uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.